lines you can't get through your day without. On Power 1017. All right, 623, Jess, what's going on today? All right, did you hear about this? Blooming Brands, the parent company of Outback Steakhouse, has closed 41 mm. underperforming locations across its brands, including Caraba's Italian Grill, what? Bone, uh, the Bonefish Grill, and also Fleming's. The closures announced during the earnings call saying that they were primarily focused on Outback Steakhouse establishments. Um, we like Carabas. Me too. A lot. Yeah. Carabas is good. Yep. They attributed the decision to the various factors, including poor sales, reduced customer traffic, and the high cost involved in like upgrading the older locations. And many have leases that are back from the 90s and early 2000s, but... 41 locations, Outback, Man. Carabas, Bonefish, and Fleming's Wow. Will close. Now, I got to admit, like, Outback was, yeah. like, for for me, like, we used to go there back in the day, mm -hmm. but we love Carabas. Like, we haven't been Outback in a long time, but we will, like, them cheese fries? Oh, come on. So good. We had uh, Outback for Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah, yeah, you said that. And then, because that's like the closest steakhouse for us. Now make sure you got to ask for the honey live. butter. They don't just give it to you. you, you they give you the option. That's special. You have to ask for it. <laughs> and then Carabas, we went there um, in September, but it was out of town. Okay, well. Do you have I, one near you? Yeah, we have one in West O. Okay. West Ocean City has yeah. a Carabas. And I hope they don't it. get rid of that. We loved it. And they got great, it's a great atmosphere, it's great food. Yep. Shoot, you get that pasta wheezy bowl. It was really good. <laughs> The sangria, all of it. Well, <laughs> I hope they don't give rid of our crops. Yummy, man, that's a shame. Yeah, forty-one locations. So, and then Netflix—they are urging customers who pay for its streaming subscription through Apple's App Store to switch their payment method. Users billed through Apple will be prompted to change their payment plan, and if a new payment method is not added by the renewal date, the member won't be able to use their Netflix account. Mm. So you have to update your new payment method. Um, primarily, it will impact members who have the basic plan in countries like the U.S. and Canada. So you may lose your Netflix account if you're paying through Apple. And then a Kentucky man thought that he lost a winning $50,000 Powerball ticket three months ago. But then he found it in his company car. Thank God. He remembered like, oh, you know what? I think I had the ticket in the company car. He went, he found it, he shared the good news with his wife, and now they're thinking about going on a vacation. And now they own the company car. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Now they actually own the company. Woo! And then the Berlin Police Department says that they've received multiple complaints over the last few weeks of a subject that has been approaching citizens and asking for money in various situations. It's been reported that the subject has approached people on foot after parking their car nearby and then asking for help with gas, money, and other various items. If you are approached by this man, you should not engage with him. Instead, just contact the Berlin Police Department immediately. Okay. And then uh, the Maryland State Police are also asking for the public's help in locating a missing Wicomico County woman. We are told that 29-year-old Trisha Tyler was last seen in Pittsville on January the 26th. She is 5'4", 128 pounds, last seen wearing a dark blue hooded sweatshirt, and she had a tan backpack with orange strings. If anyone has any information at all, you are asked to call 410-749-7101. So any information on those whereabouts, again, contact the Maryland State Police. 628, it's Bill and Jessica show. We got a 47 ABC update coming up and Jessica's celebrity buzz. Turn, 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 turn.